Hello, my darling, lovely friends. It is Monday, and today we get to revisit everyone's a very smart bear on Mostly Walking. Hi, I'm Sean Block. <laughs> hey! And I'm Lee Grainer. Woo! And I'm Sean Bouchard. Wee! <laughs> and we're going to be continuing our playing of Stasis Bone Totem that I've cleverly left on the continue mm. screen. Um, Perfect. Now, we are either on the home stretch. We may beat this game today. We may need another week. But the important thing is that coming up, we are going to try to find a new game to play. Oh. A new game. Yes. Yes. And I'm curious, how, how often do either of you play a new game? Because I do like probably a new game a week. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, not that. I mean, well, I stream, so I just like pick a new game every week. Not <laughs> right, in a no, long totally. time. Yeah, exactly. Not in a long time, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't, I mean... I'm I'm one of those people who gets I get one hobby at a time. Like right now, I watch Doctor Who. That's what I do, Sean. Oh yeah, no, that's I watch Doctor Who. No, I because that's 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 the there, there's a hobby, but then there's the kind of thing that happens, like for instance, after a breakup or like a really difficult time, where you get a capital N capital H, a new hobby, where you, 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 it's yeah. not just watching Doctor Who. You're you're like steeping yourself in the lore and. the fandom yeah. and the websites and like the theories and so on and so on yeah are you are you yeah i mean and a like capital n capital h new hobby at this point or is this just like you know you're just watching doctor who right now i'm watching doctor who and 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 then the rest of what i'm, I'm i've fallen into this sort of um self-employment like you know how you're supposed to you're not supposed to do the thing where you're just always everything's always a work day I'm kind of accidentally there right now. So I think I need to like set aside some time because it's not bad. The problem is it's not bad. Yeah. No. It's like, I'm very happy to just like work and work and work. And then it's like 10 PM and I'm like, no, oh, you know, work, work, work. Okay. Bedtime. Yeah. And it's like, of course, a lot of that time after about 7 PM has just diffused into like, I think I'm working, but really I'm just, you know do it like it's just like a dream of work it's like a hallucination of working yeah because if i was to say what i was actually doing it's like oh, i was very productive i um <laughs> i opened and closed the windows i uh i kept hitting you know, control t and opening up another social media <laughs> site and going i need to get off this closing and then automatically hitting control t for a new tab with it yeah i don't know I, I i get it i get it <laughs> i reworked my chrome extensions yeah yeah, um, no, it's it's true. And and like I I think that work-life balance is an important principle to think about. But also I think that there are times where it actually does not apply to the situation I'm in, where I am thoroughly yeah. enjoying doing like continuous work for many weeks in a row and feeling rested and feeling yeah. like I'm getting satisfaction and all that. And I've also overdone it, certainly. But I think that just like is that there is a boundary and it's 40 hours a week, because this is what was established. Decades ago, yeah. period. Yeah, by, by Kellogg. You know, the the other thing that sucks is when you go the opposite direction. Yeah. And you have too much structure and you are trying to just nail it every time. And so what ends up happening mm -hmm. is like you get up, you do all your personal hygiene. You, um, you know, what? Let's, let's imagine you have a commute. You get on the bus, you commute to the office, you set things up, you turn on your computer or whatever, you do all that login, you like do two emails, time for lunch, go get lunch, come back, like get a little sleepy, do three more emails. And then, oop, time to shut off the computer. Time to put it away. Time to <laughs> back it up. Oh yeah. Go home, do all your, it's like at that point, it's just a hundred percent overhead. Like, yeah. Right. right, right yeah. Right. Just boilerplate strange caught in a strange loop. Well, well, Hey, speaking of being caught yeah. in a, Strange loop. Strange We're loop. Strange, strange loops at the sure. bottom of the ocean. <laughs> that is one of my weakest transitions. But I, here's the thing: if you ever want to transition, but let me explain to all of you what the game is. Let me explain what the game is. We have gone deep into the ocean where we have discovered that there is an ancient. I don't know if it's like a Mayan influence uh, or what, but there is some ancient underground temple. That, Some real alien shit, too. Yeah, that appears to have references to ancient aliens and then also appears to have a whole bunch of very 
spooky virus-like influence that caused all the scientists to merge together into one giant horrifying form that we're going to walk up to and take a peek at. And so we set some of it on fire. We're continuing to try to get everyone reunited right now. And I'm going to wander around this over to here. And so while we're down here, we're kind of discovering what this lab was actually all about. What was going on in this lab. It appears that they were just literally researching where the heck this temple came from, what could be going on with it. They were studying the virus, but it clearly lost control. Things are going to heck. It, heck in a handbag. It did seem like there were also some people who were explicitly re researching, like, shared dreams or... Yeah. Or, like, telepathy or something. Which yeah. sort of plays into the whole thing. Yeah, and so I think that, the, the, like, my my sort of theory is that this virus is sort of like some... Either a supernatural force or some spooky, you know, otherworldly entity that is slowly changing... Back. Hey, welcome back, Lee. It's good to see you. Oh, wait, I turned you down. Jesus... I'm, Hold on. I'm we'll back. Welcome me back. Yeah, no, like the 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 <sighs> this virus appears to be slowly infecting and kind of merging the minds and like neural connectivity of all organisms into one goop. Um, by Gwyneth Paltrow. So, um, uh, Sean, would you like to be a Corbin security system? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Corbin right. security. Tobias Crumman model generation two. Personal Android to Dave Gallagher, uh, company synth liaison, Kane Luna link successful, memory wipe complete, ordered received from administrator SG, uplink closed. All right, here, I'll do the messages. Corbin, it's from Stevie G. A new mission, my plastic friend. Keep an eye on Gallagher. Report back. System, I have been paired with David Gallagher for his tenure on the mule. He does not look upon artificial life kindly. Classic yellow leaf. All right. Uh, system, the lab analyzed the contents of Master Dave Gallagher's stomach and found high levels of the peptide SSMTP, a toxin found in venom of a... <laughs> I don't even know, Scolopandra subspecies. Nice. I'm opening an investigation to determine what, where the toxin came from and whether or not this was an attempt on Master Gallagher's life. I will not be alerting security personnel until they are ruled out as potential suspect. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> System traces of an arthropod exoskeleton were found in the meat grinder in Mess Hall 1. It belonged Ooh. to the same species as the venom found in Master Gallagher's stomach. Chief Chef Mason has been placed on leave from the mule and dispatched to Deep Sea 15. All employees who had access to the kitchen are being questioned. Dr. Abdulaziz Al Kabur was also spotted with Chef Mason around the time of the poisoning, but at this point, there is no further evidence to oh. suggest collusion. So, so this is this is the virus being spread airborne now, yeah. Message encrypted to Stevie G. After noticing a considerable decline in my processing speeds, I ran diagnostics. I discovered large packs of encrypted files that were somehow hidden from my operating system. I don't know how my firewall was breached or what the files contained, but I'm confident they were uploaded by Master Gallagher. How should I proceed? Ooh, Ooh. interesting. Is this two or four? Yeah, they're both two. Uh-oh, it's time for a car wash. I tried decrypting the files using every known exploit, but to no avail. If Master Gallagher uh, is yellow leaf, as you suspect... Incorporate is more vulnerable than we imagined. He probably intends to use me to transport the files since my clearance frees me from routine security scans. I'll keep an eye on him. Could lead us to others. It's unlikely he's working alone. Uh-oh. Weird. Yeah. Hi. <clears throat> System internal memo. I'm experiencing a recurring image stutter that overrides my optical receptors, similar to what humans call a visual hallucination. It oh. always ends uh, with my hands around the throat of a man. He mumbles incoherently as he struggles for breath, and then he falls to the ground and goes silent. I am aware that determination is justified, even before Lieutenant Stevie uh, G. Lieutenant Stevie G tells me it is. <laughs> I don't know if this is a malfunction caused by the file dumps or a glimpse into my life before the last routine data wipe. Maybe it's both. All right. New message encrypted. 
Uh, to Baron Deep Sea 15, Master Baron, Madam Salaya has requested that I bypass your authority and dis uh, discuss an urgent matter directly with the Choka. Details are enclosed. System quarantine of the lower mule was characterized by rampant disorganization and impetuous rationale. Despite my invulnerability to infection, I have been locked inside the temple ruins by the Black Ops unit. Some others are also healthy when the doors were sealed, but unlike me, they will not stay that way. I betcha that this dude does get absolutely virus gobbled. Yeah. Uh, system, I overheard Master James tell Master Frick that he got an Ill illegal eidetic memory enhancement before joining the mule team. If any cane officers find these logs, investigate this data exploit vector. Oh, interesting. Oh, illegal photographic memory. Yeah, ident yeah, identic memory is a photographic memory. Isn't that right, Share Bear? Oh. I love this little cat so much. It's She's, a very good little cat. She is so fucking predictable. She just... she There, there is a territorial dispute over this box over here. Uh, Despy's currently won it. Oh, yeah. Uh, System the Omega Lab is now a no-go area for human staff... Project Kitchen Knife is on the loose. It has already consumed the Brigo specimens and most of the remaining Omega research team. Jesus. And blister tacks. So I am leaving it as a what? temporary obstacle for the temple infestation. It has dissolved the Dunkaroos and the blister packs. Yeah. System. To be safe, I recalled the pod to the Omega lab. I'm switching to hibernation mode to conserve what little energy I have. I will awaken periodically to check on the situation. All right. System, my synth skin is flexing uncontrollably. I need an oil bath and a defrag. So does that mean that while he's <laughs> napping, he's, he's like doing this sort of thing, you know, he's like being all rough? All right. Yeah, definitely that. System, nothing to report. System, nothing to report except screams heard from below. Starvation and cannibalism are assumed, diverting security access to the Omega Lab to preclude access to the mule. All right. System, motion detected, investigated, nothing to report. System, my neutron power cell is nearly depleted. My gyro woke me when it detected a position change. I'm being dragged into the well. Limbs locked up, system error. Oh my god. Corbin didn't see that well. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yep, welcome to hell. Um, oh my god. Being dragged what into is, a well, actually. So wait, okay, but I'm trying to understand this, because that, that data log was on the floor there? Yeah. Um, And it's like a PDA. But I would think that it would, would be like internal memory. But I guess not. Shit, there's a big hand. Well... Pod lift inaccessible. Yeah, from a completely different video game. Must be completed. I think this pod will take me down to where you are, Charlie. Oh, another lock. Yeah. Have to get it off somehow. <laughs> okay. Uh, melted, rapid expanding foam canister. Card thermite. Uh Uh what does this say? Time century. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Although this art is super sweet. No. All right. Time time settings. Tone settings. Um, yeah, does that mean that the password is a kind of 70s interior design palette? Oh, wait a minute. I'm remembering now. We, 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 we still... We have control over Moe's, everyone's favorite smart bear. There's Good a terminal bear. here. This just gave us some information. I don't remember what's in it. And if uh, we're stuck, we'll figure that out. So here we have the 
locked away, horrifying mutant abomination. And also we have this door where our mysterious fourth narrator is. But like, I, I mean, I literally don't even understand this door puzzle at all. Huh. Because, like, we have this magnet, but I don't know what to do with the magnet now. I assume that we need to attach something conductive to the sparking thing. That, that would be, spark, I think, reasonable. The spark means magnet. Oh, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. The spark means electricity. Is ghost dog? Oh, the, yes. The shimmer means magnet. <laughs> Oh my God, Waffles the dog! What a good dog! Good to see you. <laughs> can you can you all hear me? Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Lee, you sound great. There's this. I was I was in this realm. There's a thing that happens where you're on a show and you've just fixed your your audio tech, and you're trying to figure out a way to say something naturalistic that invites a response such yeah. that it's like. Yeah, and you're trying to put a canary in that <clears throat> in that coal mine. Um, right, right. Yeah. So we want to go in here, but we can't go by the giant maggot. And I'm pretty sure we have to blow a thing up, and we have thermite, and I just don't understand why we can't... Is there something that we need to combine together that we haven't... Can we combine the thermite with this? No. We're lucky that the valve melted in a way to keep the contents inside. Rapid expanding foam canister, huh? So, okay. So there, there, there's something that I want to do every time we've been stuck yeah. that we have neglected to do, What's which that? is smash. Take a drink. Ooh. Smash. Yeah, I'll smash. Smash it all. Smash it. All right. Smash them. Smash and combine. Yep. Uh, all right. So that was not that. So what's what's the play? I feel like there, there's only two plays that I can think of, which is... Hamlet. Sorry. Wait a minute. What's, what's I'm the, the jokester, table? everyone. I'm the jokester of the crew. Oh, yeah. This is the... DNA patterns, and we already summoned the thing that we needed from this terminal. So there's a terminal. Oh, yeah, th there's this microscope, right? So we, we have this. Right, we couldn't figure out what to do with the mi Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the baby, right? Y yes. All right, so... God, I really am a brute forcer. I didn't even realize I was doing it. You're forcing oh, the brutes, hell. for sure. So we have this little weird baby thing under the microscope that we got from Moe's. And we we already milked... We milked the brain. Oh, we yes, sure the brain milk. It's Mark really good for your I had a heck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm trying so hard to remember where we needed to go. Because there's this there's this hole that was blown through here. And that allowed us to go to PDA, Burnt Bodies. There's a Take a Look. It's in a book. Oh, yeah. Nothing here. And the Burnt Bodies, I don't think we could do anything with. I think it was just meant to be horrifying. Great. And we got the intra imager. We t we twisted this thing, and opened it up and got something out of here. ACBD. Oh, look. C D E D B D ducks. What is it? This ACBD, but like we already got the magnetic oh, resonance hashtag. thing. Yeah, Ooh. that's right. Yes. C D. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. So we have a security terminal that we already use to like do the microphone thing. 
Oh my god. Chem chemicals? Oh, that's this is chemicals. This is a PDA. The morgue slab, I think we're in good shape. Because this just tells us that we need to combine these things to make thermite, which we have done. Um, I have a I have a little request game for you there, uh, Sean Plot. Yeah. And you'll see in the chat. Can you read that code that I uh, that I put in there? See dead beady ducks, read... Mr. No Ducks, no, Osar. It, it, it works if you read each of the capital letters. Is read that letter out loud. C D E D B D ducks. Mr. No Ducks, O S A R. No, 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 no. M M R No Ducks. C D E D B D Ducks. C D E D B D Ducks, M R No Ducks, O S A R. I don't know what that one is. O S O S A R, C D E D B D Wings, Y I E M R Ducks. I I literally don't get it at all. I'm trying to solve puzzles. I, I, why I'm trying to solve puzzles in the game. Why I why I BMR Why I why I BMR All right, Sean. Here. I don't know what the hell that one is. What's why I, I goes, BMR? Ducks? Should I should I leave it to you to to solve it or should I It's uh I got I got all of it up until there. I don't know what why why I BMR. Oh, it goes uh C D E D B D ducks. M or no, M or no ducks. O S A R C D E D B D wings. Y I B M R ducks. What? Oh, <laughs> you need punctuation or something there. That's not oh, good. Man. You should put punctuation in a in an encrypted code message. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Mister. Should be able to eat through most metals underwater, and there's the metal that we needs to be eaten through. Is it underwater? It's where? Where is the metal? Right here. Isn't that the metal. metal or wood? Isn't that glass? Isn't that glass? Right here. Oh, you mean the ship? The yeah. The ship is wood. The ship is not metal. So maybe I actually do need to eat something, eat through something. That's did metal? you do? Did you do a combino round? Uh, combino round. I don't know what would combine O with what O. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> We're missing an item. Hmm. Are we? Yeah, I think. Like somewhere in the video game? And I think I think he's the one who needs to get it. I think this is a bear bear guy. Bear down. Okay. Did we Tell me. I'm um, I'm trying to remember, did we get through the door uh that we like we t we tightened the thing so that it wouldn't release. We tightened a pipe, a pipe, and I think like froze it over. Where was yeah. that? Yeah. So that was the entrance was to here. Yeah. This is. It's this room. Frozen. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Where? All right, let's see if the smart bear can turn the turn something over here. Cause it looked it looked to be turnable. So let's spin, spin, spin. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. Here we go. Nope, not a chance. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my basic stuff before I begin thinking. Yeah. That's don't don't start do. thinking. All right. Okay. Yep. So so so, where would we ever need this removed valve? Maybe you could put it on the um, maggot and just close them off. The valves melted off these canisters, but with the new one, the foam should release. 
okay, fixed rapid expanding foam canister because it had melted and it said it needed a valve and we just have a valve and we have it now. Hmm. Okay. So the foam up or the launch foam vertical. Foam canister. Okay, so maybe I can go to here and I can launch the the boat. I can launch the boat. There, I clicked it repeatedly. Oh yeah, we got cutscenes. Oh yeah. Is this a good cutscene or is this a you died cutscene? I'm pretty sure it's a good one. Uh oh. Absolutely Ursula, here it comes. Oh. I can't exactly even tell what I'm looking at. I, I can't yeah. either. I was just about to say, is that... I wish they would have zoomed in, defocused more, and then shaken the camera a bit more so that I could <laughs> oh, wow. not even know what came out of I felt that from in here. Are you okay? What did you do? That's yeah. What... yeah, I'm okay. I broke off the bow of the ship. It fell on top of that thing. The front fell off. The Entazoom? If it worked. I refuse to believe that Entazoom is a word. What? What's the word? Entazoom? Um, Entazoom. The engorged Entazoom. Entazoom. <laughs> and uh, noun, plural, Entazua. Uh, any animal <laughs> parasite, as an intestinal <clears throat> worm, that lives within the body of its host. As opposed to an ectozoon. The fuck? Uh, I killed it. It's dead. I was hoping I nearly knocked thrilled. it out. It was huge. It was unique. It was disgusting. <gasps> but it's still gone. Yeah. Warning. Energy reserves below five percent. You will be too if you don't oh. hurry. Go, 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 get in there. Yeah. Warning. Ugh. Electrical intensification detected. Okay. Super. You will be digested. It's so dark in this game. Hey, it's scrap rover. This game is really dark. Uh, looking at a drone here. Twin prop. Get it for sample collection, looks like. Anything useful? Investigating. Something here. Scrubber eggs detected. Oh, oh, you could fertilize those scrubber eggs. Give me. Yep. Yep, there it is. And even Why though its egg have to look so gross. She's still dying down here. I betcha. I betcha we're gonna use that. Oh my No, probably not. God. Pretty. It's hazy on the camera. What is that? Scrubbers form. Oh, scrubbers. Like the one that melted the crane circuitry, remember? And you said one by itself could fry your whole suit. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I should use this inventory tag. Maybe I should use this empty acetylene torch. Maybe I should use this thermite. Around the docking ring. <laughs> then you have a problem. Those are females. They are swarming because they have no males to copulate. They've with. become too horny. Walking scrubber broods are always kept female. <laughs> They've They're gone wild. They don't look very easy to manage to me. I wouldn't last two seconds in there. Is there a way around? No. That path is the only one that leads to Alpha Base. Are you ready for a death sequence? I'm ready. Go, go, go! Oh, God. Go, go, go! Uh, Insane. You wouldn't make it ten feet in that. No. But I can see the docking ring for Alpha. If I can get there. <laughs> go, go, go! Death cutscene, yeah! Is this Death 8? Oh God! Whoa! Oh God! Oh Whoa. God! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! 
Whoa! Uh, uh, Fatality. All for an achievement uh, on Steam. Oh my god. Jesus. There it is. De oh, that's Death 5. Alright, cool. Great. What? This is the game. I don't like that. I don't like that. Unconscious uh, scrubber. He's a... Wake it up. Wake it up, wake it up, wake it up. So here's what I think we're gonna do. We're gonna go to this guy. I think we're gonna go here. Oh. We're gonna go in and we're gonna go to the microscope where we have this egg. Oh, yes. As I said, basic genetic engineering. This isn't exactly my wheelhouse, you know. You are a smart Mac. <laughs> <laughs> this Damn. Damn. So. Oh what? my god. I need to combine these things somehow? No. You'll need to remove the proper gene sequences from the proto-organism and implant them in the embryo version for gestation. <coughs> like you oh, said. Oh, easy. Easy. Basic. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so I want to see what the failure is. F, 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 So probably not A1, 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 A1. Yeah. So I think I think I know because it's over here on a thing. Yeah, it is. There's like a whole poster. Which one do you think is the first one? I think the top one because it's got that arrow that points like clockwise. Ah. So green, blue, big green, green, blue, green. But that's that's Tag only three. yourself on big green. Oh wait, but this is only three, right? Because like we need four, don't uh, we? We do. You're right. Is it? Is it the fourth one following that same sequence? I mean, I don't assume as much. This really is a whole new generation of Dirtle Turtle. Oh, I think we're going to do it. Wait, do I... Do I can Fail. I... Fail! Fail! Do I, do I need to put in the sequence? Can I, like, do... Extract? So I think that there were some other things up here that I need to take a peek at. There's also some gene looking ass stuff somewhere else here too. Oh wait, this way. Go, 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 go. God, I love that audio. That is really nice. All right, super embalmed, super didn't do anything. So, I'm trying to remember where we saw those other photos. Maybe it was with Moe's? Because I think Moe's had some interesting images on that one computer that was nearby the genetic <coughs> box storage place. Mm -hmm. I want to suppose, I want to allege. Lee, how long does it take to beat Spaceship Warlock? Probably, like, God only knows. I mean, I think what I'm going to do right now is Google it. How long does it take to beat? Okay. Oh, that's something. It's not very long. Uh, <laughs> an hour or so. <laughs> if you know what you're doing. Are those an those look like the three that were on the poster plus one more? Um, that's yeah. at like you know ten thirty or eleven o'clock. It does look like it. Okay, it's yeah. A big long stripey one. Big long stripey one at like ten o'clock. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay. Here's a different thing. So this matches C1XX. Yes, this is the male female. Uh, male is it suggesting that sex is determined by that big long green boy? That's the mama zone. Uh, what's in the trash? So, uh, yeah, no. So, what are we to do with this? Because I think that this C1, and it says XX, but I don't... Because I feel that like... That XX... Do we want to replace G1 with something else? I mean... But also, that wasn't G1, was it? Wasn't it ABCU? Oh, so, so there was the ABCU thing that was for searching them, but... This C one G one stuff was for the indexing puzzle. Okay, but when you're using the machine and you're actually taking the samples, yeah, aren't they? When you took the four at, uh, you know, compass points, I thought it was A one B one C one U one. Let's find out. <clears throat> so. A1, U1, C1, G1. Oh, A, okay. So, should we just do like this? No. That was, okay, all right. Because... I'm gonna lose my shit if he says he wants to see the baby. I would like to see the baby. So I mean, I guess we try some of these things, huh? Like this. I don't know which which one to start with, though. Yeah, it is. Okay, so the arrow was pointing clockwise. Did it have a clear sort of point where it was? starting from starts maybe this it one? starts from okay it starts from that that uh really stripy guy at a, at 10 o'clock right oh, like oh, that is it? where the tail of the arrow lines up yeah like that so maybe we do this and then these three try it all right So, so it would be this. Okay. Damn it. Dang. So I, I have some I theories, but I'm like unwilling to start testing any of them. Because here's the thing. It has these three circle. Yeah. And... I don't understand why it is specifically circling these three. Part of and me is like it's seemingly it's only circling part of those three. Yeah. It's unclear if that's important or not. So I mean we can we can just try this one by one. So we have Two hash and this hash, and then this is at like a slightly skew angle than the triple R. Okay. Okay. But like, I, I don't know which is the first one. 
that's the thing that's weird to me. Is I'm I'm not sure which to do as the very first click. Right. And the thing is that I really do think it's this one because male and female are it, shown. Totally, a hundred percent. So, like, for some reason, I feel like incapable of choosing one to start on because I don't understand what these other images are for. Yeah, I don't either. Huh. Um... Okay, so, like, this, I feel like this is start with this triple green one and then do the 90 degree ones. Like, that's that's what I would assume. Okay. I think I did that, right? Did extract. So... Maybe I'm not paying attention properly, because if I go... So, this one... Oh, wait a minute. I think I, I think I messed something up. I think I messed something up, because if you look at the research images... So, this is this one, and then it's the... I think that I was viewing them as the compass directions, but not as, like, the genes themselves. So... Right. So, this is... A whole bunch in all green. This is a green sandwich. Yeah. This is two little yeah. tippy gr uh, greens, and this is a big, thick tip green. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is my brain in action. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So yeah, so we extract this, and then we do a green sandwich, which is way over here. green sandwich. Okay. Okay. And then we do it was this double tippy green. And then the last one was thick green. I maybe did it wrong. What was the fr wait 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 cuz there's a there's another ah, long green. Ah, yep, 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 yep. So which 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 green guy was it? I think that's the one you did. Okay, wait, hold on. It is... One's four and one's five. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five. It's a five. That's not the one you did. So let me let me just double check again, because because now, now this makes sense, because it's do these in this order. So it is... Right. I think this is the first one, because it's fucking circle. So yeah. five green, green sandwich, green. double green tippy sandwich. green, thick green tips. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm just okay. trying to feel sorry for the little embryo guy. We're really uh, <laughs> go, going to town on this one. It's, uh, apparently, it's a simulation, I guess. So, is it all good? Okay. No, the positions do actually line up. And didn't I do this before? What? Wait, look at it again. Are all of the yeah, so there's the five and then the sandwich. So. So wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. So here. I I have another idea if, All right. if your idea doesn't pan out. Here G1 is circled. And then where's the other fucking one? Here C1 is circled. Okay. Okay, so there's G1 and C1. And then we can go over here and we can find what the other circled ones are over here and compare to the other circled ones. Huh? Okay. Puzzler. Okay. <laughs> I don't fucking remember what this is for. Oh my god. G1, G1 was one of them. <clears throat> so this is G1. But that's the one that we tried starting with. Yeah. 
Right. So, no, that's right. I think that's right, Lee. Um, the <clears throat> here's my suggestion, Sean. Yeah. Simulation failed. The question is, which one do we start with? Yeah. There's only four. Wait, wait a damn minute. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, these are circled. Yeah. So we can do all four of them. We're gonna do that next. But also, if these three are circled, and then we go back to Moe's. This G1 is circled, and we know that this is circled and this is circled on the other diagram. Right. And in this one, we see that C1 is circled and XX is circled. So maybe that's the one that we actually do. Maybe they were unable to XX? identify. Yeah. Mm. So in other words, we, we do the four circled ones. But I don't know what the order of this shit is. Well, it doesn't start with the really long green one. So let's let's do maybe your it's, maybe it starts with the sandwich. Yeah, so let's like you want me to extract this gene? Yeah, let's extract it. Extract it, baby. This is where they got Levi's jeans. Is that? Also if you Did if you I need a pair of fresh eyes, you can tell successful me what... genetic oh. engineering. What? Congratulations. <laughs> you got Smartest there. Mac. He looks tiny. It is in its infancy. But it is in a maturation chamber. You simply need to wait for it to grow. Not sure I like the sound of that. Cool. Wow. Well, I think some of you could spend some time in a maturation chamber, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Five minutes in the maturation chamber. Ghosty, send them. Send them all. Sorry, little guy. I don't think you're going to like the attention. This is gonna get silly. Oh. Ugh. Time to fuck to death. Let's go. <laughs> All right, nice. So one of you want to okay. summarize what, what I'm seeing here? What? Oh. So there are these little like bioelectrical organisms that I think are yeah. man-made, yep. right? Yeah. And they fuck all kinds of shit up. Like, I don't know why we have them. Uh -huh. um, but they were extremely horny. And so uh -huh. we yeah. manufactured in a lab yeah. a male or artificial organism. And then so we weird science put it in them. a... Yeah. Put them, put it. We we very much weird science them, and they Project went on a shopping connected. spree, and so Don't we can you know, sort of like hang out in the space that they were in. It has a lock. Why are they? Two questions. First, why are they dead? Second question. I thought we made a baby, not a full. Can you? We made the baby, and then we put it in a maturation chamber, Lee. Which I thought we had to wait. I was assuming it would grow in our pocket like a Pokemon. Which I'm not I think it did. I think it, it grew in our pocket over the course of several seconds. And then when we got there, it was full grown. Okay. Go in. Did she just. Did Charlie use the last of her power to, like, open yeah. that door? And Thermite. Hold on. And Thermite. And thermite. Hold on, I'm getting birthed. Yeah. She went in through the outdoor. So, sorry, wait. And then she, like, lodged her suit into the entrance, and now she's crawling her way out of the suit? Is that what happened? She's Birth crawling suit, out, okay? She's the... crawling out, and it's very birthy, fire. all right? Do you understand it's me? It's very birthy. It is very birthy. There's no question about that. I'm in. Born Again Commando style. It's too close. It's too goddamn close. Language, Mac. It's okay. I'm safe. I'm here. I don't think she's I'm safe. safe. I'm in my land. I bet she's I'm not thriving. safe. I think that she's literally guaranteed to, for now and forever, be <sighs> safe. Oh. Okay, all right. Oh, that was... I guarantee it. Real 
Little air, Charlie. Yeah, Moses. Oh, oh now she's barefoot. Why is she barefoot? Oh, it's good. We were bare, we've been barefoot. Where are you now? Forever, actually. Alpha base. What? Alpha base. I like lying. You say that name in a way I don't like. All right, I, yeah, because I think that I think that we're a baddie. Okay. Yeah, Cable we're clips. Baddie. Oh my god, I know what to do. Oh, with you them. mean oh. like? Oh, you mean like we have a secret plan? Look at those nipples, Sean. Ooh, absolutely. Oh, using Charlie. Charlie is Charlie is. Uh... Yeah, I think Charlie <laughs> knows something. I think Charlie is has saboteur. Something. Yeah, that's she... right. I forgot, but I I completely agree with you. She had a yeah. uh, a line reading last week or the week before. It was like, oh shit! Yeah. How do you Charlie. know that? And she was just like, I don't know. It just I I know it because it was just on the thing outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Oh. All right. I now know. I now know what I'm gonna do. What you gonna do, Bear? I'm gonna absolutely use the nip clips to clip and cable across. Yes! Okay. I fucking kept clicking and it only accepted it on the fifth one! Fuck yes. That's wonderful. For our, I have opened your door. What? Using cleverness. No, you haven't. Have you? Oh, oh, I see it. Horses. Yeah. Magnetically. You, great debt. Collapse Are you ready for Mary, a horrible reveal? Yes. But be careful. It is dark here. All right, million dollars. I don't think it's dark. Million dollars that it's a brain floating. It's definitely yeah, a, brain. a brain. He's a brain stem for sure. Definitely he's a full brain. Crank. No question. Full he's crank a brain. Mode. He's just a. He's going to be a human. Observation lab. Neural system. Ner ner nervous system. Uh oh. A nervous system walks oh. through the lab. Yeah. Hello. Oh, we got Desper. She's here for her car wash. Hey, Despy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, what, what, do you, where, where, where are we going? Are we going? Are we staying? What are we doing? She has one foot on the desk, one foot on me. Okay, like this is an important moment. We're about to see our little gore friend. All right, well, I'm just going to keep taking a look. Oh, cool. Okay. That's oh, a, interesting. That's a cool thing that's to put fun. on, on, a, on yeah. a chalkboard. It's an For illustration sure. of how you see me, the Twitch streamer. <clears throat> Where it's Sweet like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going to the chamber. This is going to be good. Let's For make long. sure to turn down. Oh, my lord. Oh. It's for all. <gasps> you are kidding me. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You're kidding me. Turn on the lights so I can see. Got Evangelion. The lights are on. I don't understand. Why can I not see? You, you might want to check your brain glasses eyes. prescription. I am confused. Ooh, where is Moses? Hello. If you can see he fell, me, he fell asleep I... first at the sleepover for You're, sure. Uh, you don't have a body. From what I can tell, you're just a central nervous system. Your brain, oh, your limbic me. system. That's oh, oh. <laughs> okay. There's That's nothing so else. Transition. You're in a pod. Alone. You're... Wait, wait. How to put this? <clears throat> I'm so sorry for all Was... Wait, wait. Was the wait, flesh wait, taken wait. to merge? No. No, I would remember. Well, would is remember. this the... the... <laughs> I would never Is he the, like, intern that got turned into a brain, you're or...? Lying. For all. You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! You're lying! Mose, back away from him! For all. Liars! 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 Oh, is he the stasis bone totem? Uh, he's also, like, extremely crucifixion right there like oh, yeah. yeah they they definitely did that my okay here's my problem here's my problem that would have been an amazing like showstopper scene in any other game but in this game like we've already seen disembodied yeah, brains that think they're people that that's are true. You know, it's like i literally that's thought true. he was the other brain I, I literally thought he was the brain that was Ooh. lactating 
All right, are you are you ready to be Ferran? Ferran, Ferran Brigo Lee, do you want to Brigo us? Oh Jesus! Oh, the last of my equipment was too. just delivered. <laughs> my transfer from the mule to this forward operation laboratory is complete. I am so exhausted. It's just me and the bots, Tom Servo and Crow, for the next six weeks. Three decades <laughs> of education, experience, and challenging work have culminated in this appointment. I should be grateful. At least I'm still gainfully employed. Besides, I no longer have to contend with Dr. Simpson or that ghoulish trophy of hers that seems to stare right into my soul. No more lectures in her office or snide comments about my work. The slimmest of silver linings. The sooner I acclimate, the better. The air feels heavy with ghosts. The well is a thing of beauty. Saltwater cascades from the meticulously carved ancient sculptures spilling into the dark cavern below. A distinct smell rises from the darkness like petrichor after the rain. What could be done Oh there? my god, I just saw that from Rianach and Vibraz. So the famous uh, developer that worked on the Fallout series, Brian Fargo, could be the inspiration for Farron Brigo. <laughs> That's oh, so no. good. What can we do? Got it. There? Got yeah. it. It's only been four weeks and I'm already talking to myself and responding. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I hate being alone in this newly christened Omega Lab. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad sign. Survey drones revealed a complex architectural structure a hundred meters below, at the presumed bottom of the pit. This archaic machinery is still operational and milling something, at least according to the data. I'm sure the next team will descend into the pit and document what's going on and keep it all hush hush ish ish bots secured the pod for its autonomous maiden descent the vehicle is cutting edge providing a near 360 degree view a holo interface and leather trim Ooh. kane spared no expense on this beauty is he gonna go in the pod the suspense is killing me i just have to explore the pit i just have to explore the pit I Tomorrow's my wait. best chance. There won't be any sec drones during the Cane Day festivities, and the techs will be too little or up to notice. Alright. Cane Day! Here goes nothing! The left <laughs> side of my face aches, and my eye is twitching. <laughs> I'm guessing this isn't normal. Oh god. <laughs> it feels like someone is forcing a viscous substance through my ear and into my head. Okay. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Well, if that happens, you, what you need to do is you just need to get a chin strap for your, uh, you know. Get a chin strap, yeah. For the CPAP. And then yell, Delta Pi, Delta P. Okay. Jaw tightening, teeth chattering, relentless pain typing slowly. Oh, do voice transcoded. Eliza Simpson, you got this, Lee. This is all you. Dr. Simpson, apologies for bothering you on holiday. I've been feeling increasingly anxious and distracted. Breathing is difficult. Earlier today, I had a terrible headache, and I think I started hallucinating. Two days ago, I took the P.O.D. down into the pit. A torrent of water prevented a full descent. I assume I passed out. We have I have no recollection of returning to Ohio. Uh -oh. I know I broke protocol, but is it so, is it possible to send a medical team to check on me? How's Reggie? Barely awake. Here, I'll do message high priority. Mr. Brigo, you will be transferred to a full-service isolation chamber on the mule. As you admitted to willfully breaking protocol, the procedure will be charged to your account. <laughs> the medics have quarantined me inside the Omega Lab. They don't think the infection poses any immediate danger to others, but they're just being careful just in case. My symptoms have gotten worse. It's difficult to move, although that could be from the meds. I have waking dreams and visions regularly, and my memories are becoming increasingly confused. The worst part is that I only recognize that a memory is suspect after reflection. For example, while the medics were fussing over me, I recalled a favorite quote from a film, only to realize later that I'd never heard of such a film, much less seen it, and the line wasn't even in English. This experience has made me question all my mm. recollections since. Jesus. I know bodies in stasis bone totem can share dreams, but I am very much awake. What is going on? <laughs> I know the bodies in stasis bone totem. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm never... Come on. Come on, you, you clearly want to be here. Just go ahead and stretch. Yep, go ahead. No, I, I will approve it. <laughs> All right. 
Waves of shimmering blue wash over our offerings and join us in giving thanks. Bathed in such light, we sculpt totems oh, in honor to honor the gifts of the eaten. Wow. Wrapped in the comfort of shadows, we whisper our profound reverence. Oh. I was remembering how I used to scurry in the dark. Smells of dust, sweat, and blood. The hymns we sang. When did we last eat? No, I'm here, drugged, paralyzed. This prison of thought. Voices, singing, chanting, church bells, drums. I remember it, but it doesn't feel familiar. I eat others. I am consumed by my comrade. I watch as my bones are broken time and again. No, that's wrong. I'm... Who am I? Volkov is looking at me, pleading for death. He's sustained us, but he's come to his end. We're lost to the Republic, but our pride keeps us alive. It will guide them to us. We bury and thank him. I break my bones to feed us. I am eaten. This is okay. the most insane log. This is so good. This is... So, okay, so one thing I want to note is that Ferran, like, his attention snapped into focus after the rig above was destroyed. So I wonder if Kane is, like, trying to do some sort of mind control experiment down here and we're, like, pumping a signal down to the weird neural mass of humans. <laughs> um, something like that. And that this is sort of the weird... Uh, messaging coming from above. I don't know. Gotcha. Who gotcha, are gotcha. You? I know you. One of me knows you. You've returned alone again. <laughs> this is becoming a habit of yours. I hear the sadness in your voice. The talk of isolation. Am I your outlet? I appreciate that. I appreciate the company when I'm lucid. When I'm not lost in my memories. You sound worse today. You sound worse every day. Are you feeling guilty? You did this to me in anger and blindness. Hate. I feel hate. I feel gratitude for being allowed to remember. Loathing and peace. I want to hold you and comfort you. What a guy. Yeah. Ah. He draws me to him. I must break my shackles and descend into the well. Across the bridge, through the dungeon and the bones, and onto the pulpit of God. Bro. Okay. Liza has been kind enough to give me access to the Mule internal database. Read only, of course. It helps keep my mind sharp. She is very kind. Who's Liza? Uh, uh, Simpson. Liza Simpson, Simpson, the doctor oh, who the Simpson, had the, yeah. the the scientist dog. who I think he worked for. Yeah, who Lisa had the uh, taxidermy dog, Reggie. Right, right, right. I right, look right, forward right, to your right. visit. I have forgotten much about who I am. I don't trust what remains. This could be permanent once I am allowed to wake from this paralysis, and I am terrified. I struggle to remember my family, to recognize. Which family among those I remember is mine? The clues return only rarely. I have a firm grasp now. I think I've captured them for the moment. Could you get a hold of my wife, Elisaveta? Send a message? Send a letter? Tell her that I love her? Dude, that's, that's so he's brutal. Absorbing, he's absorbing a lot of other people right now. Yeah, yep. It's pretty He's, he's gone full Russian. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's that's how I'm gonna go. Ferran. I always suspected. What? That this was hell. Now I know. Ferran, will you unlock this specimen transport? I can use it to reach Charlie Mac. What good will that do? There is no escape from hell. That is a sad thing to say. Thanks, Moe. Doc's favorite part of the story was the ending because you didn't know what a story really was until the end. We do not know the ending. You have not reached yours. I have not reached mine. I just want the bear the to be okay. The could still be anything. Yeah. You think my story is not at an end? You are an optimist. We can find out together. It's sort of a nervous system half full, nervous system half the empty. The <laughs> I told you about. Wow. <laughs> The Kalan. Where is it? In the recycling center ahead of you. It is larger than the one you encountered outside. Save the bear. I cannot attest to its seaworthiness. But Ow. there is a chance. Ah. Yeah. We'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. 
Yes. All right, transfer oh, system. Let's yeah. go, Moe's. Yeah. Search specimen tag. Oh, we have a specimen tag. Oh. Are you playing indie games again? Wait. Did you not? You, I'm very confused. Wait, did you try to insert it? What? 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 What is what going on? What the fuck was that? Wait, hold this on. Which one of cat. us was that? This is my cat because she's trying to groom and get me to stop moving her <laughs> away from the mouse. So she goes, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yeah, you like? She sang a whole ass Christmas carol, Sean. What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. Come oh, on. she just wants food again. Meow, 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 meow. This be. What? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I'm gonna need you to move. Okay. Well, all right. I'm, ho I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this is gonna be okay. It is gonna be all right. Okay. okay. No, I, I need access to my mouse. Okay. Specimen tag. Hey, you know what? Look. Out you go. Oh wait. Okay, so we need we need a specimen tag because this is a transfer system. And I bet if Wait, we go don't to... we have a specimen tag? Did you insert the specimen tag? I mean, what I have right now is I have the inventory tag. I have an uh, unconscious scrubber. Never mind. Got the nips on this suit. Yeah, they're industrial. It is very cold down here. Uh, what? Oh, wait. So, select object. What, what does this even mean? Is this a city building game? Okay, wait, wait. I'm going to build like a front loading dock. So, if I... Oh. Mm. Okay, I have no idea. Okay, so it's a transfer system. So, I assume that if we go back to this lady... We take the punch card and we put this in here. We need some object to get transferred to some location. So then we get this routing card. So what we can do is we can use this card to like instruct a tube to go from one location to another location. Recompression oh. is in okay. progress. Recompression is in progress. Recompression is in progress. Re Recompression I feel is like a femme queen. I feel like a femme queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that definitely was giving another like day, some drag race vibes. Another day, load. Could do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> Tell me about it. Don't, oh, don't make God. jokes about that. <laughs> you know, here's my problem with with Ferran as like a creepy reveal. That that's the kind of character that I think it would be cool to play as in like a TTRPG. Oh yeah. Like you, that's where you start. One that's nailed to a board. With like that's just how you nervous start. Nervous system. The rest of the body's out there somewhere doing fine, being eaten, eating other things. Yeah, like you just start as a nervous system, who's like. Who's like hooked up to like the whole like comms and stuff? And, like I don't think his I think his arc has just begun. Especially in a world like this, with the kind of tech we have, we could put him into I an mean, embryo. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the 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 whole place is gonna explode by the end well, of the game. Yeah. So. So if I go. Oh, 
Oh, I get it. Huh. Uh, try this. Oh, uh, yeah. Red, yep. yellow, purple. Yeah, I see. Red, yellow, this pink. This is sideways. Sorry, red, yeah, because this corresponds to that, right? Yeah. So we go red, yellow, pink. Yellow, red, yellow, red. pink. Purple, red. Purple, red. Fuck yeah. Escape room, baby! Oh my god, escape room, baby! Descend or close oh, the this interface? Is, this is certain to go well. Like, yeah. let's just get into oh, a pod no and question. descend into it. Definitely, definitely, All definitely. This yeah. entire game is nothing but descending. No one has ascended yeah. once. No. Yeah. This passage is getting tighter. If this pod gets <laughs> stuck. They wouldn't design it to get stuck, would they? Yeah, well, they also didn't design him to turn into a stasis bone. They also <laughs> they didn't design that. the platform to just collapse in on itself. Is it loading? What's happening? Every elevator is a loading screen, Lee. You should know better by now. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we're in a hallucination. Maybe one day oh, we fun. can like, base this stone. Wait, who oh. is that? We are 100% oh. cleaning up this room today. <laughs> God. Hope. <sighs> Charlie. Oh, that's so sad. <sighs> These Remember, I'm one day from retirement. We're just going to do one last job. Fifth grade. So fast. Oh. I'm... All you have to do is blink. Jesus. What do you call a scene like this from a narrative perspective? Because they... I, I don't mean to be, like, too sarcastically withdrawn here, but scenes like this that are supposed to give us, like... I don't know. It's like the nuclear family kind of you know my young wife and child before something turned to me went they died and yeah, turned yeah, into yeah. max pain like what do you call that cuz i don't know it, it always turns me off at this point well uh, because it's it's hello hmm I guess it kind of feels like a pre-packaged, idyllic kind of. Wait. It's like a. It's like a. She was just. Yeah. Is that just no. a trope that you? She was here. Th this yeah. Is like this. That. Yeah. That it's a trope that that. Characters. Really yeah, characters are are sort of in a state of uh, having lost something that they but it's think always, of is perfect. It's opening up. It's, but it's always it's always like nuclear family, like Kate's two right. parents and a child. Kind of. Oh I, well, I, so I don't know that I have a um, counter example. Oh I'm not God, sure it's... that that's true. And I I wonder if we're in the shape I mean, that's, the, that's the trope I'm talking about. That's that, the one that's the trope that, that when it is about. a Because I think uh, sometimes it's a like, you know, we were all friends or, um, you know, we were, uh, oh yeah, no, like for me, we it's were... definitely about, for me, it's definitely about young wife, young wife, usually mother or yeah. child. Cause then, well, then it's, it's that, I mean, it's yeah. so friggy, right? Like it's so associating, associated with the sort of the whole mechanism of fridging it's hard to extricate oh fridging yeah i have to look more into that whoa there's yeah, a it's also i forget what the comic was but there's a there's a graphic novel where you know the the very beginning of it is male character comes home to find that his wife has been murdered chopped up and left in the refrigerator uh and oh, okay. the yep. character of the wife serves only as backstory, yes. right? Yes, 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 um, yes. As like motivation for this character to go off and, and start his own journey. Um, yeah, there was somebody said one time 
that their least favorite motivation for a character in a show is because of a girl, which I think is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but in particular, there's this, there's this scene. I think for me, it's when they show the scene of like the ideal, which is presented, the ideal, idyllic perfection, which is always presented as young nuclear family. And you know how like in film and television, everything tends toward nuclear family. Like if, if okay. there's been a divorce, you yeah. know that at the end, the two are going to get married. You know, it's like, dude, yeah, like, like, okay. So, so. Because I feel like, Lee, what you're talking about is it's not like a flashback where it's trying to give a, a little bit of an emotional weight to a character. You're fine with that. It's the specific trope of, like, look at this idyllic happy time. That's a nuclear family. Like, the and, Yeah, and it's everything's perfect. And it's like kitchen It's like kitchen table perfection. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, like, like I, I think everyone has one of those, like, just common tropes um, that they just despise. I think for me, it's the dad who's an idiot this is most oh, often in commercials yeah. where you know yeah. there's just it's 30 seconds and there's a guy with like a flannel button up tucked into his jeans that are like a little bit too pale and blue and he's like mm -hmm. trying to weed with his hands he's like hold on honey we'll need to order in tonight because i'm gonna be weeding for the rest of the day and they go oh, dad you need to use the new Easy Weeds. And he goes, oh my no. God, guys, come on. My way's the best. And then they shit on him to his face. And in the end, you can <laughs> tell he's still dumb. And they're just showing this dad be dumb. Be like, I don't know. I'm resigned. And then it just advertises the product. Like, I can't stand this trope, yeah. man. He shrugs into the camera. Um, <laughs> the only dad, the only TV dad that could pull that off was Goofy in like Goof Troop or a Goofy movie. Oh, Cause dude. he's Goofy. He's in, but he's a good dad, man. Yeah. Like, and he's like, oh, like, oh, oh Max. <laughs> Bye, XC. I've never seen them. I've never seen those. Goof Watch yeah, well, the movie. weirdest, goofy I mean, movie goof sense. Goofy to me does not have a personality. Like it's hard for me well, to... When you watch a Goofy movie, you're going to learn that. that his personality is good father. Love Goofy. You know what okay. the weirdest, the weirdest episode of Goof Troop is when they got, uh, when they got Pluto. I thought the weirdest episode of Goof Troop is when Goofy goes home and goes to his refrigerator and he finds <laughs> <laughs> finds Goofette hacked up and stuffed in there and then her only purpose for the rest of the story it's a trope I really don't like but surprised that it was so gruesome um, alright who wants to be Keita Yamada this is going to be you Shambo uh... I'll do it. <clears throat> so I've arrived, predictably seasick, this mausoleum of science. I'm doing this for her be because of a girl. Do it for her. I knew it. She's here. I found my Mila. Because of a girl. I need to talk to her and explain where I've been. Her mother left, ran, changed her name, changed both their faces, changed everything. Classified message, I'll do this to choke a board. Bazagan's research is astounding. His crude combination of PS-139 and minute quantities of recreational drugs may be the unconventional solution to the Brigo problem. Unfortunately, he is also deranged, so I removed him from the project. Brigo problem. I suspect he is doing extracurricular research, as he seems very comfortable with the stasis products. He made numerous threats, but I do not believe he will be a problem moving forward. He refused to reveal how we, how we obtained the PS-139, indicating a containment lead. I've ordered him to remain in his quarters for now. Hopefully his mental state will improve. With time and rest. All right. I have conjured Mila in my mind so often. Thoughts of her have displaced actual recollections. Perhaps it's unhealthy, but I don't remember how to live any other way. Same. Classified message priority command blast. Bazagan disappeared after disabling the decontamination system and releasing an aerosolized version of his PS-139 cocktail into the ventilation. Some crew are experiencing hallucinations and other mental disturbances. I recommend that an external sec ops team be sent in to contain the situation and find Bazagan. We need to lock this yeah, I have a quick request. Now. Yeah. Could could you all just like talk me through? Because I, so I was also gone for like a few sessions at the oh, core here. Yeah, you were. Can you just walk me through some bold, bold point, bold face point bullet? What am I trying to say? You know what I mean. Yeah. Bold okay. words. So, so like like what is PS? What is PlayStation One Thirty Nine? Um, it's it's in in the far 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 future, and Sony still thinks the PlayStation brand has <laughs> oh, one hundred thirty nine iterations of value. Yeah. Um, okay. Sure. So the the gist of 
like the sort of backstory that we are slowly piecing together is basically that there has this super megacorp came discovered this mysterious temple that we have yet to learn that much more about and they built a research laboratory at the bottom of the ocean with a rig at the top of it in order to pipe people down and continue to study this weird alien slash ancient slash mysterious technology and as part of this there's some virus that's connected to this weird ecosystem down here that has been discovered and then as we just learned released into all the um, uh, quarters down and here at the sea lab at the bottom of the ocean. I'm still listening. I'm just going to need to crack did, a beer for this one. Did Brygo initially come in contact with PS139? It's not entirely clear. It's known that PS139 is responsible for a lot of the sort of insane mutation, hallucination, yeah, the uh, weird shit. oddity stuff. And the things that we still don't quite know, the mystery of the temple, the mystery of, of PS139, we don't really know what Kane is doing down here. But our uh, protagonists are people who are effectively indentured servants slash slaves to the Kane Corporation, where they are required to work as part of paying off their debt to the corporation. And so, uh -oh. stranded in a storm, our protagonists found this mysterious rig where they are trying to find valuables to scrounge for. And we're slowly learning that maybe Charlie isn't just there to try to find valuables to help pay off their debt, but is also a member of some research team and uh, that right. is actually forcing everyone to go down there and learn more about what happened here. Because what we do know happened is that this PS-139 or something caused crazy mutations and horrifying hallucinations and death to all sorts of people below. The SecOps team went down there and tried to kill everyone, but it looks like the virus escaped and there was a ship that was trying to um, run away with everyone that managed to escape from the platform. We learned that the, that the ship was overrun by abominations, which we're now piecing together, was uh, the PS-139 virus getting onto that ship. So in short, right. crazy experiment gone wrong due to either supernatural slash metaphysical forces uh, or ancient science and... or whatever. And uh, we're still trying to figure out what's mm -hmm. going on. So PS is PS one thirty nine the source of all creepy ooky stuff in this game? I so, think so. It, it, it's unclear if PS one thirty nine is the embodiment of this, or if PS one thirty nine is a virus that is represented as an extension of some bigger, more ominous threat. Because you can imagine okay. like some spooky hive mind releasing its spores out into the wild in order to convert organisms into its sort of neural extensions or whatever. Yes, and then I, I had another. Oh yeah, do we know what stasis is? Because I think it's, is that a drug or something that makes people able to hear each other's thought and live each other's memories? It's it's not exactly clear, but I think stasis is some of these bodies that have that are in semi-conscious state, floating in tanks, having experiments done to them. I don't know. Like, there's this kind of weird overlap. Yes, I think of, that's right. Yeah, there's this overlap of, like, organic and technological, where everyone has, like, a fake organic heart, and we've seen fake organic lungs, and we see the scrubbers as sort of like an organic tool. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's good stuff. Okay. Very cool. All Data right. purge and uploaded to Kane Luna and crew confined to a mega site, picking up a valuable intelligence asset and then returning topside. Site termination in three hours. Please wait for me. Repeat, please wait for me. Gonna be you, Sean, come what? Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. I forgot I was Yamada. Uh, come what may, I must get to her. Come what may. I knew it. She's here. I found my. Oh, oh no, sorry. that's an old one. Yep. I'll be back yeah. in two minutes. Sweet. <clears throat> I hear gunfire and screams. Trigger happy security assholes. Kane's reign. Omega's cut off from the mule. They've sealed the temple door. Christ, Kane, Muhammad, forgive me. I could have left this place, but I chose to play the noble father. Oh. Oh. I found her. How long has it been? A month? Two? What hope do we have? Mila grows weaker by the day. Infection is taking her. There doesn't seem to be a logic to who succumbs first, but we all will eventually. There is no escape. We're cut off. No Jeez, rations left. terrifying. Their machines rattle all day and night, grinding the bones. Right? They, there's a lot of bone grinding. Yeah, a lot of bone here. totem grinding. 
Idiots. They genuinely believe they're not already infected, as if God himself were protecting them. They are doomed, just like us. Watching them lose their nerve when we went down to the well was, uh, was good. I will stay with Mila till the very end. Hmm. They came, those hungry eyes. They came and butchered so many. Held them down, let them scream, and slowly, lovingly removed their spines, their heads, and honor. Oh. What? No more food, no more fresh water. It's hard to distinguish between the invading memories and reality now. Images remain, traced over my vision. Sounds ring in my ears, can't stop them. Something was calling to me from the dark, pulling me forward, begging me for help. The end of days, don't want to go, want to stay with Mila. Why do I have to go? Where's Mila? Have to get her more meat. Close now. We move to the wheelhouse. My body feels strong even as my mind phase fades. Lucid moments are becoming rare. Instead, I feel another presence in my head, willing me to go deeper into the shadows to help with an unknown purpose of world-saving proportions. All right. Soon I will disappear completely, and they will take Mila. It will not take me. I am spoiled meat. All right, everybody's losing their mind. What the fuck does any of that mean? Dude, that's spooky. Got a braking system over here? That was you, though, right? Like, that was... Was that... Oh, shit. Yeah. The brakes are seized up. If I open it... The pod plummets like a rock. Mac, that would not be a good idea. Great input. Thanks, Moses. Maybe I can use this unconscious scrub... Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to continue to explore... Um, was that a bloody picture of you and your family, or was it, that... It, it's unclear. It looked a bit like that. Okay. I, that's what... Oh my god, the scene is like lit. How the hell? Oh, An underground fuck, man. beach? It's fresh water. It goes back so far I can't see. I do not like this water. I mean, they, they were staying there in they the wheelhouse, like, and they said there was no uh, fresh water, so... Giant yeah. water wheels? Emphasis on giant. One's not... Water wheels. The source of your problem. The excess you find water Atlantis? blocks the tunnel for your descent. You will need to get the wheel moving in order right. to proceed. And fix the brakes. Someday something's gonna go my way in this place. I would not count on it. I am amazed that Ferran is still helping us. I would, th I'd be thinking he'd take the rest of the day off. Yeah, I mean, I mean, apparently uh, Moses was was pretty persuasive. Mm -hmm. Moses something supposes. tore through here, ripped this place apart. Anything Absolutely still working? Shredded. Checking. Stand by. Charlie, what is this? Surgical stuff. Biotech surgery, yeah. For working on biotech components. Surgery components. Dude, I don't know what that audio is that... But it's very pretty. <laughs> I like making sound effects. I gotta yeah. get through this to get to that wheel mechanism. Doors. Always doors. One after the other. Tell me about it. Yeah. Definitely a trend, isn't it? Paul clam. AA3 damaged door mechanical failure. Okay, so we need to get through there to get the water wheel going. This thing is ancient, but it's still working. Someone cares for it. That's what worries me. I feel like the voice actor right. for Mose is different sometimes. It always, it always mm. sounds slightly different. Sacrifice? Sacrifice. It's no sacrifice. 
The ribs are broken. Oh. Spines removed. Palms sweaty. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh yeah. my god. <laughs> what? <I> <laughs> <laughs> you just really went in there like a true protagonist. Alright, PDT. Some mayors like to stick these in a staff and keep track of them just in case they. You're making a run for it. Alright. Rib no. spreader. Alright. Flesh frame. Ugh. Alright, I'm ready for another PDA. Whose is it? Oh my oh. god, it's Dave oh. Gallagher. Greetings, team. For those who don't already know, I'm here to oversee Omega's expansion into and beyond the well. You may have heard recent shocking rumors about the fate of an Omega Tech. I can assure you that he was merely exposed to hydrochloric acid from a faulty something or other, which requires no further explanation. There'll be no significant changes to your day-to-day -day life. You'll still report to your team leads, whom I'll be meeting with shortly. I will be holding a daily prayer meeting, but I request that only 100 percenters join me. Those are cybernetics. Locally, locally. Yep. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna plow through. Those this. with cybernetics need not enter. Need uh, not enter. Attend. That's. Yeah. O need only, not enter. only gold stars come join. That is rough. We move some equipment into the well complex. Stem repair station should be adequate to keep this lot running correctly. The shit we saw down there boggles the mind. Those people wouldn't believe it even if we took them with us and clamped their eyelids open. So they had to look. I dumped everything into the Android while it was upgrading. Even the red line classified data. Three petabytes of research were encrypted and jammed into its foul toaster noggin. Leaf said they would trigger the failsafe data carrier if Corbin couldn't be extracted. Well, that won't be a problem anymore. My insides are in knots. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Not sure if I'm still adjusting to these insane depths, but I'm just nervous. I'm trying to avoid checking into Med Bay, as they would undoubtedly inject me with impurities. Still, if it gets any worse, I may not have a choice. <laughs> to leave, my cover might be compromised. I just got back from having my stomach pumped, and the lab is still analyzing the contents, but it's possible that someone poisoned me. I've decided to stay the course regardless. The cause is too important. If my messages stop, you'll know why. Yellow leaf always. Water animal forever. <laughs> They're so dedicated to a particular strain of cannabis. It's weird. <laughs> Leaf said this operation would be more straightforward if I did a face swap or a neural tap, but I believe in doing things the old-fashioned way. I like a rare Texan bread steak. I only drink rainwater, and I'm exclusively attracted to 100 percenter women. That is an impressive <laughs> array of feats for a man living in the 22nd century. Implanting the mark of the beast in my very flesh will never happen. Not for Leaf, not even for the cause. I spent six years dealing with a loathsome android and even filthier augmented nexus scum humans while slowly working my way into a corporate position. Okay. Kane Corp took our hydroponics tech for their interplanetary expansion and then screwed us over by withholding payment until we had to request a buyout. We won't terraform our hunk of rock, Arakoth, and populate it with... Or we won't terraform our hunk of rock, Arakoth, and populate it with pure, unadulterated virility in the foreseeable future. Yellow Leaf is just a dream again. But in time, we will claim our birthright, our domain urgent to Omega Lab crew. Stop all excavation immediately. A contaminant is spread through the mule. This is a code black. Return to the Omega Lab. Seal the decon chamber and await further instructions. All mule staff. I'm clean, Jelly Bean. I haven't been near anyone infected and I don't have any symptoms. Look! I'm wearing a mask. You can't lock me in here Hooray. with these pestiferous scum. It's a death sentence. I'm corporate, damn it. Open doors now. We've been left to die in this temple. Did someone discover why I'm here? Are they protecting Cain by disposing of me? I don't know. There's been no contact from the outside since they sealed the doors. We're running low on supplies. People are looking to me for guidance, and I don't know what to say anymore. Gandhi, if you're listening, I could use some direction myself. I snapped Liam's neck after he tried to steal my last energy bar. He was boasting about <laughs> his vulgar augmentation, so really I did him a favor. I believe. If they eat each other, then we know where some dreams and memories came from. Yeah. Previous message failed, but I'm trying one last time. Not hoping to receive aid, but because I don't want all of this to have been for nothing. Corbin is trapped down here with me. While my mind won't survive what's to come, the androids will. This neural core contains everything you need to get Yellow Leaf back on top. So the failsafe got the data out before the base purge. Yellow Leaf, always Yellow Leaf forever. Okay. Close. Okay. Oh, 
Go, go, go. I love how there's just like straight up like a water wheel puzzle in this. Like we just have so to like Prince of Persia that thing. What's left of it? You are getting closer to the heart, brother. Such signs. Closer to the to. heart. <laughs> Whoa. What? Who's on this channel? That was Mac? you, bro, wasn't it? What? A new voice. I heard it before. If you noticed our eyes roll back it? in our head. No. Yeah. Nothing. Someone's on our comms. Plug suit doesn't, doesn't show any new channels. I know what I heard. Do you? Strange object. Or in Phoenix Wright, strange object. Yeah. This looks like something <laughs> I want to carry around. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what? He got turned into a Thanksgiving decor. Oh my god, gnarly. What the fuck? This is how I want to look and feel in retirement. <laughs> just lying back with like my sunglasses eyes just cooking all day. Oh yeah. Yeah. When I pass away, Can you do break it? That is. It's this loose. This disc is sharp as it. hell. Use extra caution around sharp objects, Mac. Alright, let's go. Machine. Kane scientists Legos. Put a wheel to charge their batteries. Clever. All right. Uh, I mean, there's a battery that can go into there. It looks like a Lego. Yeah. Oh my God! We have another piece. Dust. No. Bones. They're grinding bones. Sustenance? Not a pleasant thought, is it? Alright. Liam James. Oh, pretty fucking weird. Why would right. they... Setting up a huge mill to grind bones for sustenance. Stays his bone I dust? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Who wants to be Liam James the botanist? Um, I can do that. Yeah. I'm Liam James, botanist. Since I got the eidetic memory enhancement, I've been having trouble tracking reality. Thing is, dreams are made up of memories mixed with real emotions and stimuli. My memories are now perfect representations of my waking life, so my dreams feel as real as everything else. Oh my I tried God. using sleep away to avoid dreaming altogether, but it made me lightheaded. Only pain reliably signals when I'm awake, so now I'm going around pinching my arms. I need to find a longer term solution. That's so insane. Yellowleaf paid off my most most of my family debt, sponsored my education, and ensured an unobstructed career path at Kane's premier research facility this side of Luna. In return, all I need to do is grab some data like early base plans, very old archived messages, base AI details, etc. Upload it to my eidetic storage, and transfer it once I'm topside. Easy enough, right? Hmm. Data dump is 46% complete. <laughs> I don't know why that's just such a funny thing to say. <laughs> oh, that's While so collecting... funny. <laughs> While collecting samples at the base of the well, I heard strange noises below, outside the bounds of our current operation. They were rhythmic, almost like low pulsing bellows. It sounded like chanting or blowing distant horns. But I know that's impossible. The cave acoustics must amplify this sound of falling water or circulating air. Data dump is 65% said complete. Uh, how soon oh, till you're ready to go? Data yeah. dump is 65% <laughs> complete. I'm not supposed to know this, but the security squad brought in to contain the contamination event reported an encounter with some creatures in the temple. They opened fire inside the blister. Gross. Did I actually hear chanting the other day? Could there be people down here? It seems crazy, but then again... Everything that goes on in here is nuts. Wait, goes on here is nuts. <laughs> Unfortunately, that squad signal dropped shortly after, so that's all we have for now that I know of. We'll see. All right. <laughs> oh, data dump 100% complete. Tomorrow is my last day at Omega. Lockdown. What are the chances? <laughs> Damn it all. Yeah, right? Mamma mia. We were, we've all been there. I don't know how long it is since they left us down here. What? A month? Two? I keep pinching myself, but I can't seem to wake up. 
Wasn't that wasn't this the same shit well. that the doctor said? A month? Two? Like, the same sort of thing? Like, because their memories are merging? Um, oh, my God. All right, sorry. Dave Gallagher. Ahead. Dave Gallagher. Old rank. He says there's more food at the wheelhouse down by the beach. And we'll have to draw straws for who goes down there. Wish me luck. You set us up, you prick. There were never any supplies down here, and you knew it. You just wanted to keep the emergency rations for yourself. I'm giving you one chance to lower the elevator for us, or when we find a way back up there, I'm going to make you wish you had. I ate part of someone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to take that again. I, <clears throat> I ate part of someone. <laughs> one more time. I ate part of someone. At least, I'm pretty sure I did. I was picturing eating a nice warm steak a poil. And then, I had flesh in my mouth and I couldn't stop chewing. The worst part is I didn't mind it. The taste was okay and I hadn't eaten in so long. I just needed something, anything. He was already dead though. I am N-O-T, not a murderer. He would have wanted this, right? Giving his body to feed us. It's what any scientist would wish to do. <laughs> yes, he would have been glad. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I I, really feel like what you were saying earlier, Lee, about I just can't get shocked anymore. I've already been shocked so many times in this game. I milked a brain and fed it to a monster, okay? I milked a brain's breast, actually. And now it's just like, I ate someone, and I was so hungry. Oh, God, I did. I ate someone. I'm like, yeah, it's totally par for the course here. I'm surprised it's it took Wednesday. you this long. Yeah, it is Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> Feels like weeks since the locals captured us. The others uh, with me have been moved or died from starvation, infection, or whatever these troglodytes did to them. But not Colin. He has a plan to dig us out of this cage with a bone jawbone. <laughs> we will be out soon with a ship rib. We're going home. Oh, to King Corporate. You took my parents from me. They were scientists, brilliant scientists, and their blood is on your hands, so I won't let you kill me too. Oops, I let them kill me too. Colin has been sharing less food with me. He says something about planning ahead, but I don't understand. Is he trying to starve me so he can eat me? So I'm easier prey? He must be waiting until we're almost free to kill me with that jawbone and eat his fill. I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to play. I need to get to him first. <laughs> oh, Fuck. man. M machine. So, where's Moe's? <laughs> Jeremy Reimer says, you don't have to be crazy to work here, but it helps. <laughs> so, That's pretty funny. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear we need a ship. Recompression is in progress. Recompression is sent progress. Okay, so there, there, there's nothing for this girl pizza. to do right now. No. But there's this routing terminal. Walk what do I know? Up. I mean... So, you know what? Temporal frame. <laughs> Could we see, so on the interface of the, like, transporter thing, it had circles for different locations. Could we see anything about those locations? We can't click on those circles, huh? There's, it says central processing. This oh, is waste oh, okay. reclamation. My problem is that I would absolutely GM this game as a comedy. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... The story continues for all. Perhaps. So good. Who was it? I literally randomly grabbed two. I can never leave here, can I? It is still a story. You can leave here just as much as any of the why, others. Why was that You the live solution? in a pod now. <gasps> it's a bear. Uh, it might not have been. 
in tight spaces. You are trapped. If they hurt my boy, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, like, like Sebastian the crab was wrong. I will leave soon. Oh, Mose. I will see the sky. Oh, Mose. I will see the sun. I will see. If I cannot leave this place, my friend, then I wish it for you. Truly. Perhaps our stories are intertwined. We shall see. For Ryan Fargo. Do it for Ryan. <laughs> okay, so why was this the way out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What? <sighs> Looks like the equipment's all been stripped away. Looks humid, too. Wait. Lossy. <laughs> Charlie? <What? laughs> Caliban? Charlie, who are you? Caliban? You're here Caliban. for Caliban. Oh, oh, why am I not surprised? Oh. Caliban. Who the fuck was Caliban? Who's Caliban? I don't think we know. The one she brought you here to find. It all makes sense now. Moses is confused. Can anyone hear me? Anyone? No one brought us here. You're a boat, Captain. You know the odds of stumbling upon any one specific object in the middle of the ocean are infinitesimally small. Much less during a storm. No, we... I was there. I was there when... We... He's right, Mac. We didn't just find the rig. Ah, uh, yeah. I knew where to look. You knew where to look. I, I couldn't to... tell you. You you wouldn't have said yes. Well, I've been there. I understand that. You know, yes sometimes you gotta what? do what you gotta do. Yeah. Caliban! Moses is very Jason. confused. So am I. And the with that confusion, Caliban? we're gonna just save right there. Isn't that great? Caliban! Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right. Hey, we got another week of bone totemming. And then yeah. and then by popular request, AKA by Lee Grainer's request, we're gonna play Spaceship Warlock. Warlock. We're gonna try to yes. one shot it. We're gonna do a one shot show because it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to stream. So if I only have to do that once, then yes. I think we can do it, oh. I believe in us. Now, I mean, some of these puzzles are a little jockety because I think you just need to remember information. And I think I'm piecing together that um, Ferran gave us information about where the, um, what was the ship he called? It was like the... Uh, yeah, I don't remember. The Callan, I think it was. What was the like Callan? Yeah, like... Yeah. I think he gave us the location of it, and I just needed to have anything delivered to that location, and then it would show up for Moe's. But right. I literally randomly clicked two things, and one of them was right, so eh. And so I feel like some of the puzzles... Good enough. Yeah, the, the puzzles that have happened in the second half, or I would say probably the last two episodes have been much weaker than the puzzles in the first half. As in, like... I just, I didn't understand what the problem was, what we had to do, or why we had to do it that way. I like the puzzle, <laughs> this just shows my sensibilities, but I like the puzzle <laughs> that had the solution to it printed on a sticky note right next yeah, to the good. puzzle. 
It was just rotated was awesome. 90 degrees. And you know what? It was like, it fuck yeah. It gave me a bit of a, it gave me some pause. I was like, I don't understand. It's not working. God damn it. I was like, yeah. <laughs> ah! And then you're like, Sean, it's rotated. And I was like, I see it. Shut up. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that puzzle is fucking awesome. But I will say, like, from a story structure perspective, I'm still totally digging it. Yeah, yeah. I'm down with the bow totem. Yeah. From a story structure, I mean, I think that, like, we raised some complaints in this episode that are real, real issues when you are, I don't claim to be an expert on horror, but I think within the horror genre, there is this sense of, like, exhaustion, right? If you, if you present all of your best gags up front, then the stuff that comes later isn't going to land. And I think we are falling into that problem a little bit because the, the reveals have been really good. It's just that we saw them coming and they aren't, uh, they don't have that like horror because we're just saturated in it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, like, yeah, it's normal I, now. Yeah. For, for Ron was actually like a, like a deescalation from, seeing the giant mass of bodies devouring each other in a giant brain right. <laughs> in laboratory. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, yeah. Ferrand didn't have to see that. Like, he's 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 doing all right. <laughs> yeah. In this um, world, he's and doing then all right. Charlie's betrayal, I think, was maybe a little bit too telegraphed. Um, but it's also, I mean, I, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. But it, it does feel a little bit like it's it's a it's very domestic, right? And we're we've spent a lot of time on this f fucking ship of horrors. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The like, I don't know. Well, I think I don't know. Really I don't know. I'm curious to, to see where it goes. Yeah, because I think that like if a character does something slightly suspicious at one part of the show, I don't know what the motivations of that character are. You know, it could, and that's how you can hide it. It just seems so reasonable because they're just doing their thing and I'm learning who this character is. But when we are Charlie and we clearly didn't see something and our character's like, oh, I saw this. I'm like, no, I didn't. It like, it, it sticks out so much more. Um, yeah, that was weird. Who are we now that we're being possessed? I don't know, but I, 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 I go to bed uh, by like 9.30 and it's 9.06 and I yep. can feel my body shutting down so I'm just going to let it I'm going to permit it to have a little operation oh, shut good. down yeah. um, gosh I love doing this show with you too it's, a good oh, show, it's right? so fun um, do you have anything else you wanted to say my gamers no sleep well Sean you too Sean sleep well Lee? sleep like a sleep like a brain stem <laughs> Don't forget your chin strap. That's right. All right. I'm going to hang up. Hope you two have a fantastic night, GG.